We're gonna be real extra today, or extra every day, but specifically today. Bachelorette thing. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking something super, super fun because apart from like your wedding dress, this to me has been the most fun thing because it's also something that I'm wearing. We are talking about bridal accessories and how you should go about picking the jewelry that you will be wearing the day of your wedding, which sometimes, or at least to me, like I'm a jewelry freak. Jewelry is something like I am obsessed with. And so that's, it's a big freaking deal. Okay. We're just, it's a big deal. I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to pick your accessories based on your dress neckline, kind of who you are as a person, that whole thing, because a sweetheart neckline on two different types of people, the same jewelry won't look right. So that's just kind of the stuff we're gonna go over today. Before we get into the video, make sure to go below and click subscribe if you are new here. I put up three videos every single week on all kinds of different topics, not just weddings. Um, my wedding is about four months away right now, so in four months it will be over the most part, that'll be it. Mainly it's lifestyle, fashion, and beauty. So I would love it if you would join my family here and let's just get into the main part of this video. Just go into this video understanding that this is just my opinion. On your wedding day, you can do whatever you want to do, but I, obviously because I have a fashion blog, I'm obsessed with fashion, I'm obsessed with trends, and I've, I've seen throughout the years just pictures from my Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest, different necklines and different pieces of jewelry and what I think looks best and what will look best long term. Just my opinion, you can do whatever you want. But like I'm saying, like I will keep saying, my opinion, don't wanna hurt your feelings if you have other accessories, that is never my intention. But what I'm talking about today is just what I think looks best with certain wedding dresses. I mean, I feel like you guys just like get me by now that I'm just extra. It's just, this is me, right? All right. So when picking your bridal accessories, and I will show you guys my accessories later in the video, but you have to keep watching to see that part. Um, when you're picking your accessories, I think that the number one thing that you should just keep in mind is your neckline. Um, I know as far as like some brides go, they wear family pieces at their wedding, but when you have your dress, obviously that should be the first thing that you pick. The neckline is so important that you match your pieces accordingly because you don't want to take away from the dress itself with your jewelry. You don't want the jewelry to get lost in the neck in the like neckline of your dress. There's just so many different things that go into it. But about that, there's just so many necklines. Like I looked up on my phone earlier. There are so many, like I looked up a list on Pinterest of necklines of dresses. I got like 35, like I didn't even know there were that many. I just thought like if you had a halter dress, it was a halter dress. I didn't know that there was like a difference between like a halter or a something else. Clearly I know what I'm talking about, but there was just, there was a whole lot. So we're just gonna kind of cover the top six necklines. We are talking about sweetheart, off the shoulder, jewel, v-neck, halter, and then an illusion neckline. For those of you who don't know what those are, sweetheart obviously is just like, it comes to a heart. It's a very flattering top. Everybody does the sweetheart. Off shoulder, obviously the dress comes <laughs> off the shoulder. Jewel neck is kind of like, if you were to have a shirt that was like this almost, I'm really red today. If you were to have just like, this is technically in dress form considered a jewel neck. Then you've got v-neck which obviously is like you would have straps it just comes down to a v there are a lot of things that fall under a v-neck category you can do a plunging neckline but the v-neck that i'm talking about is just like a very simple v-neck wedding dress then you've got halter obviously that just means that there are straps that come up usually it comes to about like here and then you've got straps um but the thing that i looked up on pinterest that wasn't even called halter. There were so many different other necklines. I don't even know. The halter I'm gonna be referring to is the dress that would come here and then you have straps, no matter how thick or thin. And then illusion is just, oh my God. Illusion is like the most gorgeous neckline that there is. I think illusion neckline gowns are so in right now because they're so, 
there's something so classy and elegant about them, but you can like still have them kind of daring because I like I've seen people who have like the plunging neckline down here, but being an illusion, it's still got that very light like lace or tulle or whatever that goes all the way up. And so it's just so classy and elegant. I love an, an illusion neckline. So those are just the quick little overview of the necklines that we'll be talking about. Another thing that you need to consider when you are picking out your accessories is how you will be wearing your hair. As you can see right now, my hair is down. That is not what I will be doing during my ceremony. My veil weighs about four million pounds and so I have to wear my hair up so that it doesn't like pull my hair back. Um, and then I'll be taking it down for the reception. So when I was picking my jewelry out, I actually picked my jewelry out according to my hair being up. My dress is great for two different types of earrings. I could wear studs or dangles. Ultimately, I decided on studs, which again, I'll show you in a minute. But those are the things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing your like jewelry accessorizing selection is your hair, neckline of the dress, can't say that enough. And I'm gonna stop saying it now and just get right into what is best. So wearing a sweetheart neckline, again, a sweetheart is just gonna be something that literally just looks like it's into a heart. That is the most versatile, honestly, hair up, hair down, you can really kind of do whatever you want with that type of neckline. Um, depending on how much boobage you're going to be showing, um, that's kind of how you can make the decision. Uh, if my hair was down and I had a sweetheart neckline, I would probably wear stud earrings. If my hair was up with a sweetheart neckline, I would probably wear dangles. Honestly, a sweetheart neckline just really goes with like what your dress is. So like if you have a sweetheart neckline that's a very, very plain dress, you could probably do it up a little bit more in the accessories. If not, you could probably go the opposite and do very like simple accessories. Sweetheart neckline, you can wear a necklace with, you can wear a short necklace, long necklace. You can kind of do a lot of different things with that definitely bracelets sweetheart is the most versatile if you are someone who kind of struggles with jewelry selection that is probably a dress neckline that will be easier to pick jewelry with so you know if you're wanting to be someone that wants to wear the bracelet and the necklace and the earrings and the whole nine sweetheart is definitely the easiest choice if you're doing an off the shoulder gown I would recommend a short very skinny necklace or um, maybe like even a very short thick. I wouldn't do anything that's super long because once you get down long necklaces with an off the shoulder, you're gonna start taking away from the gorgeous simplicity of the off the shoulder part of the gown. Or you could go completely necklace free earrings. I would only do studs. I would not recommend doing dangles. Um, maybe an inch dangle at the absolute max. But again, I think you're gonna just take away from the simplicity and the gorgeous classic look of an off the shoulder gown. Everybody's different, this is just my opinion. You can totally wear six inch huge sparkly diamond earrings if you want to. But I just think if you're wanting to like look very bride-like, very classic, very elegant, and not extra like I am right now, you could definitely just do a stud earring, no necklace, maybe a bracelet, and call it a day. I'm a jewelry freak. I mean, like I had to sit and tell myself like, no, you don't need to look like a Christmas tree on your wedding day. You need to tone it down. So a jewel neck is, like I said, just kind of like a very simple neckline. Depending on the fabric that goes up to your neck, I would keep that very simple. Stud earrings, an inch dangle earrings, no necklace. Unless you're a bride who wants to be super trendy, you could probably do like a choker type necklace. Oh, so jewel neckline, keep it very, very simple. When you have something high happening up here, you don't want a necklace. Um, to be completely honest, I'm not the hugest fan of necklaces because it's so hard to find a necklace that is like oh, perfect with a dress. Honestly, when it comes to brides, especially in the Southeast, the only necklace that I would ever recommend you wear would be a pearl necklace because there's something so classic and elegant about pearls. I am not a pearl girl. Do I look like a pearl girl? No, I feel like I'm way too extra for all that. So I don't wear pearls like ever, but they are just so gorgeous and simple, especially on certain brides. Like you just look at them and you're like, yes, you look great in those. So pearls are definitely something that you could wear a necklace with pretty much any neckline and it would look really pretty. Um, definitely very classic, very elegant. So you can't really go wrong there. But other than that, I'm not a super huge fan of necklaces just because um, when I'm getting dressed and I'm looking at a whole picture, 
I like to see balance and I like to put a lot of my accessorizing in my ears and arms rather than around my neck and I would really just prefer that in this case my wedding dress do all of the talking for me. V-neck is a little bit like sweetheart in the sense that you can pretty much do anything you want. Like I said, I'm not going to be really talking about plunging necklines, that's totally different. But if you have a v-neck dress, even if it just comes down to here, don't really consider that plunging, you're pretty much, you can do whatever you want. You can do um, dangle earrings, stud earrings, a necklace, some bracelets, no bracelets, pretty much just kind of go with whatever you want there. That's gonna be something that's very easy to match. Getting into the halter neck style dress, I would honestly just say stay away completely from anything in your neckline area at all. If you're going to do a dangle, probably less than an inch and a half. Usually, I would just say stick with studs because I think when you get into things that are high up here, usually this is your focus. You're kind of wanting people to see the halter part of your dress and it's just gorgeous. So I would do studs an inch, inch and a half earring at all absolutely no necklace, no jewels, nothing. This would be really when you could kind of get into the hair accessories a little bit more because you do have nothing going on here with your jewelry. So if you were one of those people like me who wants to look like a Christmas tree, you could put jewels in your hair. You could kind of play around with that and definitely bracelets. It's hard to say who should and shouldn't wear bracelets. Again, this is just my opinion. But I think halter, just stay away from the necklace. Pretty much anything else, you know, necklaces, you're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my earrings. I'm not sure if I showed them to you in a video or not. I think I might have. Um, but I actually looked for these earrings for my bridesmaids. I did a video on bridesmaids, groomsmen, gift idea. I will link that video right here for you guys. I ended up not getting them these because the company that these came from no longer sells the exact earring. And if I was gonna get Morganite earrings, you know, I could find them in a variety of different places. I didn't just need to look at this one place, but I got these gorgeous Morganite stud earrings as a gift from my aunt, and I just think they're so pretty. I'm just, I'm gonna put them in my ears, but they're these just gorgeous, simple studs, and I want to wear them on my wedding day because I don't want to distract from the neckline of my dress. See how pretty that is? Like it shows up, but it's not crazy. And it's in the rose gold setting, which is obviously what I am going for. But um, it's just, a, oh, they're just so pretty. Aunt Diana, you did good. So this is pretty much what you'll be seeing on the day of as far as jewelry goes in my ears. Very simple, very classic. I will not be wearing a necklace. In my family, we kind of do a pearl necklace situation where you wear a pearl necklace as a bracelet. Um, not sure if I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna just bring these bracelets on the day of just in case. I will only be wearing bracelets on one arm the day of my wedding. But if I don't wear the bracelet um, that is the pearl necklace on my wedding day, this will be what I will wear. Being that these are both um, special important pieces. This is a gold, a bangle that is from my grandmother when she died I kind of what was my mom's and I just kind of was like mom I'm gonna just wear this one day and then she never really got it back and I wear it all the time now my mom has a different version of this that I'll probably have her wear on the wedding day so we can kind of match in that sense but these are just really pretty I think they're like emeralds and diamonds in here and that's just my grandma's bracelet um, and since she can't be there on the wedding day because she is no longer with us, I think that's kind of a special way to have her there with me. And then a diamond bracelet that my parents got me for my 20th birthday, I think. And I wore both of these for my bridal portraits and I actually loved the way it looked. If I choose to wear the ring versus the pearl necklace, I will be wearing a family ring on this finger if not. I will be wearing this ring. It is my gold college ring. It is obviously very important to me. I worked very hard for my college degree and three of my bridesmaids also have these rings because they went to school with me. And so I think it would just be cool if we all kind of had the same ring on. Um, but that's just kind of the jewelry that I'll be wearing. And finally, illusion neckline. Oh, I just think like, do yourself a favor. 
don't well first of all just don't disregard david's bridal i totally did and um i ended up having a great experience there got my wedding dress there returned the wedding dress because it just wasn't out I'll, I'll tag that video right here so you can just watch the whole thing yourself but they have this line at david's bridal called oleg cassini and he makes the most gorgeous gowns i've ever seen in my life and he has this one dress and it is like this it's not technically an illusion neckline, but it kind of is. It's got like lace up top, and then it's got this sweet. I'm just, I'm gonna link it below for you guys. Like, it is the most just stunning gown ever. Illusion neckline gowns are just like, oh, they're just so pretty. But I love them, and the reason that I think they are so gorgeous is because for girls like me, who like to look like Christmas trees they do a lot of the talking for you so if you have something that's an illusion and it's got all the pretty detailed work up here you know you're you're pretty good with your accessorizing you do some stud earrings maybe one very tiny bracelet depending on how busy your dress is and then you're done just they're so gorgeous and they are so in right now i mean i can't really i've only been a you know I got engaged December 2016 and I wasn't like super into bridal trends before then, but now I see them everywhere. They're just so very, very simple earrings, nothing else. I would not do anything else because an illusion neckline dress, it's going to do all the talking for you. It's going to be gorgeous. Again, these are just my opinions. You can do whatever you want with your hair and your accessories, but when it comes to what like I think about for a bride, if your hair is down, you're gonna want smaller accessories. And if your hair is up, you can do very dramatic accessories. I think that just, you don't want things to get lost in your hair. You want every little detail that you put into your wedding dress and what you wear on, on your wedding day to like really show. So if your hair is down, I would do something very simple like this. Um, you could also do simple if your hair is up. Like I said, my hair will be up for the ceremony and I'm doing something very simple like this. I think that's pretty much all I've got for this video. I kind of feel like I rambled on a little bit. I hope I did help you guys kind of pick some accessories. I will link below some of my like favorite accessories that I think like per neckline would look absolutely amazing so you guys can really get the full effect of what I'm talking about because sometimes I feel like I'm not making sense when I'm just using my words. Um, and so for those of you who are visual, I will have all of that linked below. Also, let me know if you guys want to see a bridal makeup tutorial look because I kind of made it clear on my Instagram stories the other day that I will now be doing my own makeup um, thanks to just a lot of like miscommunications and different things. Um, which is a totally different story. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see a bridal makeup tutorial and how I'm gonna be doing my makeup the wedding day. I have an idea of what I want to do. Um, it's something slightly different. Let me know what you think of that. But that's all I got for you guys today. Please make sure to go below and subscribe if you are new here. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.